Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Before we get into today's video, just want to say my online shop Salome Shea is now fully stocked with raw shea butter, waist beads, and exfoliating sponges all ethically sourced from Ghana, West Africa. Thank you guys so much for your support. Link in bio to purchase. Now let's get back to the video. So if you are new to my channel, I start every video with an affirmation. So go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I got this. I got this. I got this. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. We talking about my go to Milk alternatives, Oatly, boom, bam. Oatly is actually a Swedish brand. And you know, the Swedes, they be knowing what to do. Okay, I see you, Ikea, like they be knowing what to do. So the great thing about Oatly is that it is an oat-based milk. And it has very little sugars. It doesn't have any extra things like carrageenan which disrupts the digestive system it doesn't have it's not made with too many oils that are not good for you this is the low fat oat milk this is the low fat one in the full fat oat milk oatly milk is called rapeseed oil rapeseed oil and canola oil are similar the same in nature the only thing is that um oatly uses a non-gmo uh rapeseed slash canola oil. I love oat milk because it is not too thick and it just tastes so delicious. It tastes like just a nice, like just, a, just, 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 just good. No, okay. I like oat milk a lot because it tastes really good with cereal. It tastes really great in your smoothies. And I like that there's no added like fake vanilla flavor with it. Like to me, it's just good. I don't know <laughs> what to say. And if you already use oat milk, go ahead and leave me some of your favorites. I know there's like Planet O. I know Trader Joe's makes their own oat milk. Um, if there's a brand that you love, leave it below. And if you're Oatly and you're watching, what's good? <laughs> hey. I use the word only. Next, we have Good Karma Flax Milk. It has omega 3s. I like unsweet. I do not like my nut milk to have, um, I don't like it sweet and I don't like it with vanilla. So, flax milk is a great source of calcium and omega 3s, which is really good. So, I like this brand. It's not too expensive. Oh, yeah, oat milk is like $4.99. So it is a bit up there, but once you have it once, you're gonna be addicted. Flax milk, I rarely buy flax milk, guys. Honestly, it's good when there's no Oatly. Because of the pandemic, oat milk has been uh, in short supply. So, you know, sometimes I just run to the flax milk. I like it, again, it's um, a, a thinner texture, which is what I like when I'm having my smoothies and my cereal. But again, this is a great introduction to milk alternatives. Again, I recommend it. I'm not going to show you guys something that I wouldn't recommend. And I believe this is about $3.99. I think this might be $3.99. The Ripple. So this is the, uh, this is a pea protein milk. So this is made from golden peas, which are healthier for the environment when they are being harvested. I really actually like the Ripple company a lot. They, for me, they are super into uh, making sure that anything that they produce is good for the planet. So benefits are protein, it has vitamin B12, which is so important for vegan vegetarians, and um, it's soy free, nut free, 100% vegan, gluten lick, lactose free, just like all of these other milks. Ripple is thick. Ripple is great as a creamer. Ripple has their own creamer, I believe, but Ripple is great if you are drinking coffee, a chai latte, matcha latte in the morning. Ripple is great because it's thicker. I do not like Ripple with my cereal. I do not like it in my smoothies. I like it when I'm drinking my coffee and yeah, I usually just like it when I'm drinking coffee um it's very smooth it's rich it's creamy it's on the thicker side and i'm okay with that the great thing about these milks is that none of them have carrageenan 
in the beginning of the nut milk um the nut milk trend like the nut milk sensation a lot of brands had uh, carrageenan um there was a brand califia i think i've talked about them on this channel before califia i think if i'm saying it right they had carrageenan in their um milk and carrageenan is a digestive it's an intestine disruptor and it can create ulcers and stuff like that so i actually have not drank that milk in a long time but i do believe there is a carrageenan free califia farms milk now um so just make sure when you're buying your nut milks that you're looking at the ingredients you want to make sure that you're okay with the oil that's being put into the milk you want to make sure that the ingredients are good for you are good for you personally right some people might not want to drink pea protein, pre pea protein some people might not want to have flax some people don't like oats so you got to make sure that whatever you're getting is right for you my favorite thing about these brands is that their ingredients are for the most part non-gmo which is super important because genetically modified foods when we ingest them those are the things that disrupt our cells and cause diseases like cancer and we want to be cancer free we want to be free of all diseases so if you are looking to get into the milk alternative game i hope that these three brands that i mentioned help you to do that you got to let go of the cow milk like and i know it's a struggle and do you know why it's a struggle there's a chemical in milk that shares the same addictive chemical as heroin so yes ladies and gentlemen when you are drinking milk you just injected heroin into your system okay yes and no i'm joking and i'm not joking but seriously do your research milk is actually terrible for you it does not make strong bones i don't know i know that the milk industry created that idea decades ago but milk actually breaks down your bones because of the gaseous chemicals in milk it breaks down your bones it actually causes osteoporosis it does not make your bones stronger whatsoever and remember that we are one of the only mammals on earth that still drinks another animal's milk after we are done breastfeeding you don't see tigers drinking goat milk you don't see ostriches drinking um llama milk do llamas even make milk but you get what i'm saying the only time you really see like a we we feed we we give cats and tigers and certain mammals cow milk we do that if it wasn't for us they wouldn't be drinking that so just think about that like think about how actually disgusting that is to be drinking another animal's milk and i have made almond milk on my own i don't like making my own milks with a with a, uh, a nut bag because it takes too long because it's like an over a day process and it the shelf life is not long so I actually don't enjoy making my own nut milks but I do know that there are certain like uh, tools and machines that we can now or kitchen appliances that we can now use to make it easier to make our own nut milks I do know that so when I get into my home I will probably do that but for now I'm not making my own oat milk or flaxseed milk and I'm definitely not gonna make my own pea protein milk because I don't even know where you can get golden peas from so I hope this video helped encourage you to get milk out of your system and I know it's hard I know it's not easy trust me like cheese has been the hardest thing all right guys so if you have any comments video requests leave them in the comments below I love connecting with you guys and creating content um, for you guys so uh, subscribe like this video so that I can make its rounds on YouTube so we can stop letting other people drink cow milk and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that you can know when my shea butter is ready to be sold and when I am teaching classes on Zoom. I love you and I will see you next video.